In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about Spearhead and we are going to talk a little bit about what to expect and what GW revealed at LVO and what we can expect moving forward. So to be completely honest, GW has not revealed a lot of new stuff for Spearhead. But what is interesting is the image that you are going to see in the background scrolling down. Because if you look closely, you're going to notice that there are a lot of Vanguard boxes in there. Now, as always, we are not sure whether this means that Vanguard boxes are going to be illegal for the Spearhead format and if they are going to receive rules. Or whether they have just been included to have this picture available and to have something to show. Because, yeah, we are just not 100% sure. What we do know are some basic things that GW or one of their presenters said during their videos. And that is that a game is supposedly going to take less than one hour. And I think that is very, very ambitious. But we're going to get to that in a little bit. First up, let's talk about Vanguard boxes. So if Vanguard boxes are going to be available for Spearhead at the very beginning of the edition, and then once your army rolls around and you're going to get your battle tome, you're then going to get an additional Spearhead. That would be actually kind of cool. That would up the value of Vanguard boxes massively, especially for some of them. Like um, the ones that are good already, like the one for the Soul Black Grave Lords, for example, and so on. So those would go up in value tremendously, I think, simply because those would get rules and it would be a great thing to have. And especially for all of you veterans out there, it would be obviously great because you already have those models. And you could just try playing Spearhead without having to buy a new 4th edition launch box or one of the new Spearheads, obviously. So we are going to have to wait and see. For now, I'm a little bit cautious as far as Vanguard boxes go for Spearhead. But this image would be also very confusing. They could have chosen any other image. They could have created a, a different image with just the three Spearheads that we have available currently. And it would have been fine. Instead, they decided to go very out there with the Vanguard boxes. They are very apparent in this picture and image. So I think that we can at least expect some of them to receive Spearhead rules. For now... You know, that is more or less unknown. We are hopefully going to get more information in the coming weeks and months. And yeah, that is basically all we know as far as that goes. I am hoping that we are going to get Vanguard rules simply because it's just more rules for everyone, more boxes to play, more models to be used. And it is a great thing to have. But I'm not holding my hopes up just yet, simply because we're not 100% certain yet. This image, as I said, could be an indicator, could be a strong indicator. but I'm not 100% sold yet. As far as Spearhead itself goes and its rules, we know nothing. We know that 4th edition is going to make big sweeping changes. And we know that GW apparently is confident that you are going to be able to play a game in under one hour. Now, if you've been playing Combat Patrol at all, if you've been giving Combat Patrol a try, you're quickly going to notice that a game as a beginner to just learn the rules and everything takes approximately two and a half hours. If you somewhat know what you're doing and you know your combat patrol, it takes an hour and a half, maybe two. And then if you're an expert and you know exactly what's what and your opponent or, or friend you're playing with also know, is an expert on combat patrol, on Warhammer 40k, they know their cover rules, all their basic stuff, and they know their combat patrol inside and out and barely need to reference their data sheets because they know everything by heart. At that point, you can maybe play a combat patrol game in an hour. So being able to play a Spearhead game in 45 minutes or 50 minutes or something is very ambitious. That seems to me like they're expecting games to go very, very quickly. And I think that they have made a new edition, the fourth edition, simply because they wanted to scale down lethality. They wanted to scale down mortal wounds and all that stuff. So I was figuring that stuff would be more survivable, especially units like Stormcast, especially Stormcast units with shields and so on, would be very durable units again. But if they are expecting the games to only go 45 minutes or 50 minutes or something, uh, are they just going to enable you to play three battle rounds? Or are they going to shorten the, the turn times at all? Um, are you going to not be as reactionary in your turns as you would be in full 4th edition Age of Sigmar? And so on. There's a lot to speculate about. But I think that uh, for now, I'm also cautious here as far as the playing time goes. Because if they are able to achieve a fun game, that still allows for strategy, that still allows for interesting movement, and still gives you somewhat cool and thematic rules for your specific army, then Spearhead is a win. At 50 minutes especially, or 55 minutes, for all I care, under one hour, 
if you can actually realistically play that as a casual player who doesn't know all the insides and outs of the game, that would be excellent. Because then Spearhead has actual value for even veterans and maybe competitive players. Because as I say with Combat Patrol, even if you prefer 2000 points games, even if you really like the competitive aspect of full 40k or full Age of Sigmar, having that palette cleanser type of game where you can just sit down for, for an hour and play a quick game with a faction that you maybe usually don't play, where you can just borrow some models from a friend and play with a spearhead game or a combat patrol game, or you can just sit down and paint a side project as a palette cleanser and have it ready for spearhead or play a small spirit tournament, which are more and more common in Warhammer stores. Or if you just want to have two boxes of spirit to introduce someone to the game, teach them how the game goes with fewer units and a with an easier rule set and less units to know, that would be perfect as well. Because that is basically what Combat Patrol is all about. Quick games, palette cleanser games, cool, fun, casual tournaments, a starting point for Crusade or Path to Glory for Age of Sigmar, and so on. Combat Patrol and Spearhead both hold and are going to hold a lot of value for those casual players or for veterans and so on as a palette cleanser game type or as a palette cleanser army type. So you have new stuff to paint. So overall, yeah, I'm confident that Spirit is going to be something really, really cool, but I don't see that a game is going to be under one hour. I think the average game time is going to be the classic Combat Patrol game time, which is an hour and a half, if both players somewhat know what they are doing. And I think that's still fine. Being able to play a game 45 minutes is something I'm going to probably do after playing 20 games of Spearhead. And even then, you know, it could take a little bit longer depending on my opponent. So yeah, if you have any opinions on a Spearhead game going less than an hour and how realistic that is, if you have any opinions on Vanguard boxes being available to play in Spearhead and whether they are going to get rules or not, Drop all of that down in the comments below. I would really like to know what kind of Vanguard boxes you would really like to receive. Spearhead rules, if you like any specific setup, or any specific box, that would be really cool to know. And obviously, I'm making a Vanguard boxes to buy before they get replaced video series. And I'm going to link the first video in the series down in the pinned comment below if you're interested. And there's more to come this week for Destruction. Then we're going to upload some for Order and Chaos. So every Venga box is going to get covered. And this is interesting simply because obviously Venga box, as I said, are going to get replaced. And it's maybe, you know, the perfect time to check out Venga boxes, their value, uh, what I think about them and whether I would recommend you get out there and buy them or whether I would recommend you just skip them and wait for a battle force for your specific faction and so on. So yeah, I hope this was insightful. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.